Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Pentiment, the millenarian monastic murder mystery set in the town of Tassing, of course. So, after the last episode, whereby we met uh, Mother Illuminata in the Great Library and purchased a book of her, didn't purchase as many books as I would have thought, we just ended up buying one in the end, and we bought it for none other than Klaus's daughter, last surviving uh, child, Magdalene. We bought her the book Percival, which is a very, very nice romance story, and we thought we thought uh, we thought she'd enjoy it. And uh, yeah, looking at it, it looks like there might be some ramifications to their choice down the line, but we will see, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so we're here by the Abbot's house now, as we have been invited up for a spot of supper, which is a bit perplexing to us because the last time we saw the Abbot, he didn't really want us to see us again. Like he didn't want us to see us again, like ever. So this is going to be a bit surprising. So uh. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see how what goes down here. Up we go. God bless you, Andreas. I'm glad to see you received my invitation. Are you ready to eat? Yes. Good. Man, this is going to be one tense dinner. Andreas, thank you for coming to dinner. I will admit, I was surprised to receive your invitation, Father, but I'm pleased to come. I thought you didn't ever want to see me at Kirso again, Father. What changed? Um... I mean, should we be... Let's be cordial. Let, let, yeah, let's, let's just try and play this as cordially as possible, okay? Yes, well, when I heard you had returned to Tassing, the Lord convicted my... Uh, convicted? Yeah, convicted my heart to let bygones be bygones. I think it's high time we reconciled, Master Mela. Please sit, and we will pray together. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Lord, direct each of us here toward your wisdom, prudence, and guidance in our future actions. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that something's going down, for sure. Uh, Brother Voslov was indeed prompt in delivering my message. I'm surprised you deigned drop by at all. You have done quite well for yourself, after all. It is good to see that your time in Kirso was not squandered. You even look the part of the famous artist now. What have you been doing in recent years after leaving such a mess in Tassing? Oh, there we go, there we go. The snide, the backhanded comments. The city council did approve me as a master artist in Nuremberg, you'll be pleased to hear. I have a commission of Mary and Christ waiting for me in Nuremberg, but my patron wants me to uh, keep adding more of his associates in, in dre I'm dredging going back to it. Travel to Aragon to study the new arts and oil techniques there. The journey took me far longer than I expected, though. What do you care? Well, we said we weren't going to be mean. So let's, yeah, let's tell him a bit about um, our travels in Aragon. Yes, I've heard the Inquisition has had a difficult time with the many Jews and Muslims fleeing the country. I understand the Edict of Expulsion, Father, but the Inquisition is brutal in its methods. The Edict of Expulsion is a, a writ issued in 1492 expelling all practicing Jews from Spain. The Edict resulted in uh, pogroms and persecution led by the Catholic Church, also called the Alhambra Decree. Damn. Uh, the Inquisition is certainly enforcing the Crown's Edict of Expulsion. Yeah, the... the I'm, I'm gonna go with this here. The Inquisition being brutal. The Church and Crown have uh, have a duty to ensure the safety of the Kingdom, Andreas. I'm sure the Inquisition is using exactly as much force as needed. Of course. Why did you really ask me here, Abbot? In truth, I had hoped to discuss the rising tensions between the Abbey and townspeople. I'd like to... clarify the situation for you, Andreas. Please, Abbot, I'm all ears. <laughs> like, clarify what exactly? Of course, just like you clarified that Piero was guilty all those years ago? Oh, like, we really want to stick it to him, but... Like... No, let, let's just be civil. Let's just calm down. Please, Abbot, I'm all ears. I'm relieved to hear it. I believe you've only heard from one side of the issue, Andreas. Otto's little speeches about taxes don't account for the entire situation. Why demand such high taxes then, Father? Okay, what are we going to eat here? We have plum pudding, pheasant, nice, uh, 
Lebkuchen, Kuchen, and well, goddamn, let's go for some pheasant. With the scriptorian closure, the taxes are necessary to make up for the lost income. Surely there's another option. Do you really need to raise taxes that much? Wanted to ask the bishop for help. Just because you decided to close the scriptorium doesn't mean the townsfolk should suffer. Yeah, then why close the scriptorium at all? I don't understand it. Don't put the fault on me, Andreas. These taxes are a direct consequence of your actions after you accused Ferenc. He managed the cryptorium. Kersau is no longer able to keep up with the city's printing presses and artists. There are better uses of the brother's time than books. Brother Gui has gone over the expenses himself. Raising taxes is the best way to cover these costs. Hmm. But what about the pro what about prohibiting the peasants fr the, the, the yeah the peasants from using the forest? That's a new restriction. Let's get some plum pudding. The forest belongs to the abbey, and the peasants have no right to use it. Legally, it's theft. It doesn't ha harm the abbey to let the peasants to let the townsfolk pick up sticks. Uh, why bring the issue up with me then? Uh, you need to talk to the townsfolk, not me. I don't have a stake in this. Hmm. You're being a pedant- yeah, I mean, he is being a pedantic ass. Yeah, it doesn't harm the abbey to let townsfolk pick up sticks. Such theft deprives the abbey of its natural resources. Since the abbey does not produce anything else, it must be able to sustain itself somehow, especially under such financial stress. Have you no pity for anyone in Tassing? I am more upset to hear the townsfolk have no pity for us. I hear they will continue their disobedience by collecting herbs on St. John's Eve. The whole town knows the whole town knows I've forbidden it. The matter is grave, and I will excommunicate anyone who defies my order. Damn. You would condemn the town over something so petty? That certainly creates an ultimatum that's insane. Father Abbot, you don't have the authority to do that. The townsfolk live under the ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the Prince Bishop of Freisburg, not you. Should we hit him with some ecumenical knowledge? Some theological... Yeah, let's do it. Andreas, you are hardly an expert on canon law. I assure you, I will have the support of the Prince Bishop. Oh, this is not going well. Remaining impartial will be impossible as long as you're in town. Support me in ending this foolish rebellion. You have a reputation in town, Andreas. You're a successful man, and the townsfolk believe they are like you. I'd like you to convince the other townsfolk, the printer, for example, that this uprising is not in their best interests. The rest of the town will follow, and the peasants will have no chance to resist. We can end this peacefully. I don't want the town to come to harm. It is a precarious situation, but I understand your point of view. The peasants have genuine grievances. Why not talk to them and negotiate? I want no part in this either way. I don't have a stake in this. Uh, the peasants are right, Father. You have been too harsh on them. I won't help you. I mean, I I won't. Damn your plan and damn you, damn you. That that's that is what I want to say. But I mean, yeah. This like, how can we? The, the the peasants have genuine grievances. Why why don't I not talk to them? I am a forgiving man, but Otto's stubbornness has challenged even me. Otto is past the point of talking, Andreas. That's why I'm begging you for help in the matter. Please, take more time to think about it. I apologize, we must conclude for now. I must excuse myself. I am expected to leave a service at Compline tonight. Think on what we've discussed, Andreas. I trust you will find your way out. I will, Father Abbot. Good night. Honestly, I mean... He's just an arsehat. Return to the commons. Oh, This guy. Is he a piece of work or what? I mean, asking us to talk down the peasants when, like, he's doing nothing to, like, even consider their interests. Like, it doesn't even occur to... Oh, hang on. Sorry, gotta pet the cat. It's an, it's an obligatory part of the playthrough. Good kitty. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, we were bitching about um, the, the 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 abbot. Yeah, he just he doesn't even consider the plight of the people. It's just 
Ugh. I mean, is he getting downward pressure from the abbot or from the prince bishop? Like, he must be, right? But nothing's gonna come of, like, what he's trying to do there. Is this late old lady of Ottilia? Well, well. Andreas the painter. Good to see you too, Ottilia. Hmm. When did I say it was good to see you? <laughs> the only reason I remember you is because you bothered me about that raft, the Baron. Anyway, no time to talk now, fancy man. It's time to call to the fire. Does St. John's Eve mean a lot to you? The Saint's Eve, right. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, Auda Aun's Mama Perchta. Nus Ardin Quest Gauded Gaud Perti. Ve, ve, Nus Clamanti. Ha 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 Did I hear Perch turn there? So what if you did? Did you become a hound of the Lord during your time away? Come to Tassing to sniff out the heathens and heretics? Uh, I just don't know if you should be invoking a pagan goddess at the St. John's Fire. Mind your own business. Go back to your city. Leave us to our ways. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I mean, she's totally not going to get in trouble for that, is she? Uh, hey, Casper. Master Andreas, look at how big the bonfire is. The decorations are so fancy. St. John's Eve Festival is a big event for Tassing. I missed it last time I was here. Haven't you ever been to a festival like this, Casper? Are the festivals and Um, yeah. No, I've never seen anything like this. Can I stay at the bonfire and see the costumes and watch them collect herbs, Master Mailer? Please? Uh, alright, but follow along and don't get in their way. I'm too tired for the festival. I think I'll just turn in for the night. No, Casper, it's late and I don't want you... I don't want to risk the abbot's anger. Let's just head back and go to... Um... Yeah, I'll, I think I'll just head back. Yes! I promise I won't make any trouble. I'll see you tomorrow, Master. Okay, so we can just go to bed. But let's see if we can talk to the others. Verna? Salutations, Andreas. Most wonderful to see you here. I see you two have met. What do you want with an inventor? I make all manner of mechanical contraptions filled with gears and levers and other such delights. Andreas here is a man of the mind. Why, why shouldn't he find interest in my work? For all the use it is. The mind of the inventor exists to create, to build, to go one step further. One step further toward the garbage heap. Ha ha ha. A very inspiring thought, Baltas. It makes sense you'd also be rude to your friends, Werner. Uh, yeah, a very inspiring thought. Why, thank you, Master Artist. Speaking of, have you had the chance to look around town tonight? I'm, I imagine the sights could be, uh, could also be inspiring to your artistic mind. Tassin certainly looks cheerful with the decorations and bon... Well, what do you mean? Well, look at the peasant ingenuity on display. The bonfire itself, for example. It is built to allow the air and the heat to flow through it at great speed, and how it roars. It's a clever piece of construction, but Otto's a clever man. It is a feat almost worthy of a, of a university degree. These people have natural traditions. They've managed to figure out many clever things without even the most cursory education. It is knowledge that hails from preceding generations, lived experience passed along the chain of time. Not quite the knowledge of a rigorously educated man, perhaps, but nonetheless youthful. Useful. Uh, you don't need a university education to be smart. Um, yeah, you don't. Of course you would say that. Neither of you know these people like I do. God has assigned them their place in the, in the order of the world for good reason. There is some merit in learning from the peasants, even you, Werner, given their understanding of herbal remedies. Their traditions are profane. Consider the Eve of St. John, tainted by their pagan rituals. It is an affront to Christ. St. Eligius warned against precisely this nearly a thousand years ago. St. Eligius as a patron saint of goldsmiths. Bishops, uh, Bishop of Noyon Tornai, 
Worked tirelessly, tirelessly to convert the pagans of Flanders to Christianity. Okay. And nothing has come of these pagan festivals in all that time? Uh, where the... Where the newfound piety come from? Uh, yeah. The harm infects a man's eternal soul. You should... Uh, you might not see it, but God can. Where'd this pr newfound piety come from? Uh, you're really wound up about this, aren't you? Yeah, where'd this come from? Don't pretend to know anything about me. I've been on the pilgr I've been on the pilgrimage to I I I Aachen. Located at the western edge of the Rhineland, Aachen is an ancient city build, uh, build around the thermal baths. It houses the remains of Charlemagne, as well as many other relics. Okay, cool. I have visited the uh, Marian Shrine and stood in the presence of holy relics. Gotta see this one. An, or an ornate golden reliquary in uh, Aachen Cathedral. It holds the swaddling clothes and loincloth of Jesus, the Virgin Mary's dress, and the decapitation cloth of John the Baptist. Okay, a lot of relics. To be in the presence of St. John the Baptist's beheading cloth was an experience I will never forget. I don't think we need to look at that. We know that John the Baptist was beheaded. Um, I haven't managed the pilgrim myself, uh, but I hope to. I'm glad you've had an experience. Your family must be proud. Uh, yeah, your family must be proud. They are. Grand. Now I think it is time we return to the festival. We're here to celebrate. I'll let you continue with your evening then. Good night. A very good night. Oh, and do come by the workshop, Master Mela. I would love to exchange ideas. Yeah, it would be my pleasure. Splendid. Until then. Mala. Okay, that's Werner. Hill Peter. What's he got to say? Uh, good evening, Andreas. Nice to see you here. Grandpa, look who it is. Eh? Oh, the artist. We're still around? I thought to stay and enjoy the festi the festivities. Ah, you call this a, festi a festival? Ugh. <clears throat> You haven't seen nothing yet. You're not going to tell the story again, are you? You kids need to learn it by heart, else Perchter will run you down. Ah, this is about the Wild Hunt? Uh, Ill Peter, I'm not sure I'm really... Let's, yeah, let's learn about the Wild Hunt. Yes, it draws near. <coughs> Heed my warning. Grandpa, you're getting agitated again. It's not good for your health. Nonsense. I cannot live any bastard out there. So, uh, where was I? Uh, I'm guessing you were about to regale me with a tale about the traditions of these mountains, the Wild Hunt? Yes, did you bring your mask? Uh, no, so I didn't realize I was supposed to bring one. Bah, the fools I have to suffer. The masks are to protect us as we banish the witches and spirits into Perchta's path. She punishes all humans she finds in the woods on St. John's Eve, since only witches are out in the wilderness. Anyone caught will be turned into animals. No one but a priest can then turn you back. Well, I guess I can imagine a worse punishment. To be brought low to a mere beastly existence? Yeah, I guess I can imagine worse. You joke, artist, but you won't be laughing when Perchta finds you. Stay indoors tonight. If you want to come outside, stay within the light of St. John's fire. At least since Satya blesses the herbs in the forest this night. And the woman will gather the herbs, regardless of that bastard abbot. It's certainly important to stockpile some for the winter. Thank you for teaching me more about the local traditions. Yeah? Ugh. Hey, Big York. Hmm? You grab some of those ashes with you after the bonfire has died down. Fine. What are the ashes for? Yeah? It's to spread across the garden, and sure is a good harvest. Figures you city people don't know shit. Don't be like that, Grandpa. Now that story time is over, how are you enjoying the evening so far, Andreas? I've spoken to a few other people here, very enlightening. Um, yeah, very enlightening. It's the best time to spend time with your friends. Have you heard anything interesting? Ah, gossip. You two are like that burner in the forest. Smokey, that's the one. Always nosy about other people. 
I've also been invited to have dinner with the abbot. I guess the talking never stops. Uh, ignore him. Uh, yes, it has been fun to hear. Yeah, I've also been invited, yeah. Can't say I'm exceedingly sh uh, sure about it, given the animosity between us. The abbot, that bastard can rot for all I care. A thief in a monk's robe full of hollow words. Uh, maybe you can talk some sense to Father Gono. He's not making it easy for us, any of us. It's not like we're asking for much. I'll do what I can. Uh, you know, ugh, all we can ask. <coughs> I guess I shouldn't keep you then. You have an important meeting to attend. Oh, I, I get the feeling we should have spoke, done this before we went and spoke to him. Uh, you're right. I can't keep the abbot waiting too long until later. Oh, we've taken a lot of your time, haven't we? Don't forget to enjoy the night's celebrations. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing we should have done this before we saw the abbot. Hello, Master Mailer. Evening, Till. Enjoying the festival? Very much so. I perhaps feel a tad old for the more active side of the celebrations, but I enjoy the sights and sounds. Did you know the word for the summer solstice leads back to Romans? I may have heard that, yes. Solstitium. The sun staying still in the sky, such as it looks like this time of year. A fitting allegory for the great cosmic arc of mankind. Rise and fall. But to make up for that, dancing, leaping songs, joy and mirth. People do seem elated, although I don't think the same applies to, Ab to Abbot Gurno. Uh, yeah. Otto's courting danger, I agree. Going against the decrees of the Abbey like so. The festival has always had a rebellious streak of jest and mockery. I don't see it as a sacred as some. The church would disagree. We are to honor a major saint. Uh, it has to be a sac it has to be sacred enough for the church not to condemn it as heretical. Um, and yeah, and what are we mocking? The fools of the community, like most, the vices folks get up to, especially those more important than us peasants. Overall, I think it brings people together. Ah, I wish I could read more about all this. Well, with the Abbey selling books from their library. I hoped I could get some for myself, but it proved to be far too expensive. Klaus and his printings have proven to be of more use, and a fair bit cheaper. Have you come across any interesting tales? Uh, I have, Master Mailer. Or I didn't quite understand everything. The text was in Latin. It was by a Roman named Strabo, uh, and it was about geography. That's why I noticed it. Ah, the, notice, the noted philosopher and historian. He was actually Greek by birth. I imagine you were reading his uh, geograf geograf uh, Geographica. Yes, that could have been it. The book was about many kinds of barbarians, which also included the Raiti tribe. I, was, I, I read about years ago. The people who used to live on this very land before the Romans arrived. He called this place Ratium, and described it as a cluster of Daub huts, and its people hostile and warlike, only interested in hunting and fighting. There was something about Manus and his sons, but I couldn't understand a lot of it. In any case, when the Romans came, most of these locals were driven out, but some were captured to work in the fields and the mines. What happened to the locals who were forced out? No idea. I would imagine that after the Romans were driven off, when their empire started falling apart, maybe the barbarians came back. But were they really the same people, or nomads from elsewhere? I guess we may never know. Thank you for the quick history. I'll let you get back to the festivities. Enjoy yourself tonight, Master Mailer. Until later. And this is pretty cool. Like, we're getting a little, um, education here, a little history lesson from Till and the local, the villagers. Um, check around there. C come on, let me get past this guy. Brigitta? Should we talk to Brig Brigitta and Martin? Why, Martin, look who it is. Good evening, Andreas. Andreas, you staying for the festival, I hope? Of course he's staying. Who would miss this? Especially after you burly boys built such a beautiful bonfire. A burly boy like me would do anything for you, Dove. Couldn't help myself. Gita, Martin, you're both feeling very festive, I see. The food, the fires, the dancing. It really is a, ni a night to enjoy. It's an honor to 
uh, it's to honor the anniversary of the birth of Blessed John, a vigil for he who prepared the way. Yes, yes, and he'd have liked everyone to have a good mood in their hearts, and good food in their bellies. Hmm. As a hermit who wandered in the desert, living off locusts and wild honey, he probably wouldn't agree. I'd like to live off some wild honey myself, if you catch my meaning. Uh, so, are you going to heed all those coal and go into the forest? No, I'm not really looking for trouble. There's enough of that going around. Even though you supported him earlier during his speech? Uh, and you, Brigitte, not gathering any herbs? My place is by my husband's side. The word of the abbot is the word of the church. It's improper to go against the word of the church. Only slightly less improper than all the time you spend with Veronica? <laughs> oh, Brigitte, I'm sorry. It was a joke. It came out poorly. It's good for the heart to have cherished friends. It's fine. Andreas, I was about to say, the bonfire is enough. We will dance until our legs begin to waver, right, Martin? Would not miss it for the world. That's delightful. I hope you have a great evening. You as well, Andreas. Until later. Damn, they're really a lovey-dovey couple, aren't they? Yeah, so I, I suspect maybe something's going to go down for the villagers who end up going to the forest. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, come on, can we not... John Bauer, Palm, uh, can we not engage with the actual bonfire? We can look at it. This bonfire is made simpler than the one in Nuremberg, but it's pretty all the same. Let's talk to Carl. Evening, Andreas. Say, how do you like the bonfire? We built it nice this year, big and sturdy. Uh, it's a fine setup, Carl. Excellent work. It's n um, yeah, it's excellent work. I know you can't compare uh, to where you come from, but we still gave it our all, in celebration of the light who prepared the way for our lord. Anton, you remember Andreas Mailer, the master artist? Yeah, I've seen him around town. Son, be polite. Uh, hello, Master Mailer. How are you? Well, thank you, young man. Fine, I guess. It hasn't been a great time back at uh, Nuremberg. Now, this is a well-raised kid. Does what he is, does as he is told. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, young man. Anton's a good boy, let me tell you. A bit of a rascal, as you can see. But he's got a good head and a good heart. Likes to hide it, though. Ah, Dad, will you stop? Ha ha ha. Easy to rile you up, just like your mother. How is Helena? Uh, is she not attending the bonfire? Yeah. She'll join us later. She went with Martha to dip their toes into the stream and to pick some flowers for their garlands and wreaths. It's important to hold traditions. Uh, you are right, especially with the times we're having. Uh, yeah, hang on, wreath dip, aren't those pagan customs? Not so, Andreas. St. John the Forerunner walks the streets at night, blessing any door with a wreath on it. Isn't he dead? How can he walk around at night? The veil between the spirit world and ours is thinnest on these nights. All manner of spirits walk about. Uh, that is the power God can provide for his most beloved disciples. He can't. It's like, um, yeah, let's go with our esoteric knowledge. Evil ones? Demons and devils? I've never seen any, though. And you won't have to if we're careful, my boy. The bonfire will frighten them off with the help of the Lord. It's why we have the feasts and celebrations. Speaking of, what do you think of the festival so far, Anton? It's fine, I guess. I like the fires when they are lit. The mountains get to twinkle like the stars. I don't like when people get drunk and rowdy at the, as the night goes on. They get into fights and all. But your dad keeps trouble away, yes? Yeah, he doesn't like it when those goddamn bastards go too far. Language, boy. God doesn't look kindly on blaspheming. But those are your words, Dad. <laughs> Best you don't quote me. Quote the scripture instead. It's better for your soul. <laughs> you listen to your father, Anton. I will. I, I do. Jesus. Hey, what did I just say? Don't let your mother catch you with that mouth. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to the festivities now. It was a pleasure. Until later, Andreas. Bye. Okay, that was a good little natter with the with the locals. Um, okay, I guess we can't go anywhere there. Should we pop by the stream? Should we see if anyone's there?
Like, should we, should we see if the ladies are there? Uh, hang on, are we going the right way? So we're here. Um, no, we need to we need to go up, don't we? Okay, let's let's head on up. I mean, I wonder, is it allowed? Are we going to be able to go there? Should we pop in and see Smokey? Hey, Smokey. Even in Master Mailer, you're not taking part in the festivities? I came to ask you the same. I didn't see you at the bonfire. I imagine it'd be a great chance to gather gossip. Ah, plenty of gossip to go around if one keeps their eyes open in the forest tonight. It's an enchanted evening. As for your question, I get enough fire and smoke as it is. Haha. <laughs> and decent folk don't like to associate with my kind. Even as they like the charcoal, they hate the burner. Other than Endris, he occasionally comes by, but I guess he has to keep good relations for his trade. People avoid you, even on a night such as this? Well, fine. They're not as bad as, they usu as usually, but truth be told, I don't really care. I've made my peace with the matter. For me, it's a night like most others. I prefer staying sober and observing the townsfolk. Easier to get all the gossip for the years to come, you know? Besides, I reckon I'm growing too old for mischief. Best let others run around in their silly costumes. I think you still have some youth in you. Uh, you're not one for- yeah, you still got youth in you. Ha! Like the sun rises to his highest point every year, so my back grows ever more crooked. Ah, uh, but I appreciate you coming by. I wish you a pleasant evening, Master Mailer. Until later. Until later. Until then. Okay. So, yeah, maybe let's head to the stream quickly. See the ladies. Wait, are we going to be allowed to? They're dipping their feet in by the waterfall? The waterfall must flow. Uh, yeah, we've seen that. Um, okay, then they're, they're not here. Or well, no one's here, rather. Would they be up? Did they say they were up by the shrine of Satya? Of Sin Satya? No. Oh, wait. Did, is that something? No. Most curious. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else that we can really do here. So maybe let's head back? Uh, oh wait. wait, 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 pop to the ruins maybe? Might be some action by the Roman ruins? I mean, I get the feeling that this... nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that this uh, festival is kind of like... Do I want to say like Fasnacht? Or like a... A Germanic... Uh, another kind of Germanic... Uh, Halloween? Something like that? Anyhow. Alright, time to call it night. And then uh, we'll hear about all the gossip that has gone down tomorrow. It's getting late. I should get some rest. Go to sleep? Yeah, let's go to sleep. Oh, we're going to the other place. Here we go. Uh, where are we going here? Uh, so, okay, so to get in there, how do we get in there? We need, um, round there, round there, round there, round there, round there. Round there. Yeah, no, this is right. Good at mazes, guys. And this is how to work it. Just gotta go round, like so. Sabine? What is it? What?
come home. Ah, uh, stop bothering me. I will, soon. You're lying. Sometimes I think you must despise me. But maybe it's worse than that. Maybe I'm nothing to be regarded at all. What am I to you now? An annoyance? A bother? A nuisance to be ignored while you lead another life in Barcelona? Was there ever an ounce of love in your heart for me? Of course there was. Uh, this was never about love, Sabine. But no longer? I hate talking to you when you're like this. Um... What, either that or say nothing? You hate everything about me. I don't hate you. You don't love me. It doesn't matter. Go back to your books, the only things that make you happy. This house was so lonely without you, without him. Stop. Your presence would only amplify the grief. Stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone with the memory of him. Stop. Just leave me alone, just for one night. One night where I don't have to dream about him. Please. Thank you. Ooh. About him, so what, did did Andreas have a child with Sabine? And did, did he die young or something? Because he has been a bit reluctant to answer the question about kids, August. Hello, August. What am I supposed to do? Just wait here with you? I suppose I can do that. Just pass the night in silence with you. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything for you. I'm so tired, August. I suppose there's not much one can do against plague. Oh... Do you get tired where you are? The last time I saw you, I said goodnight to you. I couldn't come to the bed, so I stood in the doorway. I just stood in the dark. You didn't say anything back, so I said it again. I don't know how long I stood there. Just waiting for you to say goodnight. You still look the same age to me. I wonder if I'll ever forget your face. Do I remember your mother as she is? I remember loving her. Or am I just thinking of some perversion of Daniel's portrait? I, I remember loving her. Can you ever picture someone clearly if you love them? Can you ever picture someone clearly if you hate if you yeah, if you love them? I loved you, little boy. I loved you so much. Sometimes I wish I could die so I wouldn't feel it anymore. But I can't. So I retrace my steps every night. And I find my way back to her. Back to you. I love you, August. Good night. So... Yeah, this him not being in Nuremberg for a long while. This is this is escapism. What happened to this place? Where is Presta John? And where are Socrates and Saint Grobion? Grobion wasn't on the ship of fools. Melancholia. Won't you answer me? No thoughts for Beatrice? You are Beatrice, aren't you? Once, I was a voice of caution, of prudence. And now, more or less that ca more or less than caution, the ache of doubt that stiffens to paralysis, paralysis that breeds despair. Melancholia. What happened to you? What happens to uh, what happens to you happens to us. The foundations of the city are still moored within the ocean of your mind. Its court does not rule your mind. Your mind rules the court. 
Once reason, curiosity, and the foolishness of youth dwelt under the ages of your intellect. I am all that remains, the melancholy of, the, of life's autumn. But it is only June. Is it that, then? Well, how did it come to this? You have turned your gaze to your own dark center. You know the courses of your own life. You know how the choices you've made have brought you here. What am I supposed to do about it now? Change your life. Wait, I shouldn't be here. I needed to be to, I needed to help someone. Is Casper all right? Ah, so your thoughts aren't entirely turned inward. There is still something in you that cares for others in spite of your melancholy. Perhaps there is still hope for us. Wake up, Andreas. St. John's Eve. Find Casper. Hmm. Anyhow, we'll take a quick break here, guys, and when we get back, it might be time to find Casper. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.